Hi, I'm Nathan Stein, and for my video project, I'm going to be discussing frame dragging, the physical implications of it, and the experiment that helped to experimentally show the effects of it. Frame dragging is an effect that was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity and later derived in 1918 by Joseph Lenz and Hans Thuring, which is why you will occasionally hear it called the Lenz Thuring effect. It is essentially when a rotating mass twists space-time around itself, resulting in a shifting of the reference frame. A good way to picture the twisting of space-time is to picture taking a flat piece of fabric, putting your finger on it, and slowly twisting it. You will see that the fabric will twist in the direction your finger is rotating, and that depending on the speed at which it rotates, the amount of twisting will change. Another thing you may see is that this twisting is more extreme the closer you are to the center of rotation, and quickly fades to a much less noticeable amount the further you go from it. This is very similar to what you would see if you could physically view the frame dragging effect on space-time. What should I take away from this? The amount of warping space depends on the angular velocity of the rotating object, the mass of the object, and the distance of the orbiting object from the center of mass. One of the most important physical implications of frame tracking is that objects in orbit around a rotating mass will experience a precession around their spin axis. This is similar to the object experiencing a torque. However, it is not a true torque because this is not due to a direct force, but due to the twisting of space-time around the rotating mass. It causes the orbiting object to experience precession that is counter-rotating compared to the rotating mass. For example, if you were to place a straw in a river where the river flows faster towards the center and slower at the banks, you, it will begin to rotate. Another way to think of this is by picturing two gears. If one rotates counterclockwise, it will cause the other to rotate clockwise or in a counter-rotating fashion. The same will happen to an object orbiting a rotating mass, except without any classical Newtonian force acting upon it. For a mass the size of Earth, this precession is extremely small, resulting in only 42 milliarc seconds of an angle each year, which amounts to about one revolution in six million years. So this is a very small effect, at least when looking at it around Earth. This is important because it means that while extremely small, if you, say, wanted an ultra-precise GPS, you would have to take into account the effects of general relativity on the satellite. Actually measuring the frame-dragging effect and proving it occurs as predicted is fairly difficult. This is due to the fact that the effect of it caused by the Earth is extremely small and would be difficult to measure, and there aren't any extremely large rotating masses in space that we could get to that would produce an easily measurable effect. This represents a conundrum as to how to experimentally prove this effect. It turns out, while around the Earth frame dragging is an extremely small effect, with sensitive enough equipment, we can actually measure this to a significant amount of accuracy. So far, there has been one extremely good experiment that was able to prove the effect of frame dragging experimentally to within 1%. This was the Gravity Probe B experiment, which involved launching a satellite to orbit that had four extremely precise gyroscopes on board. By having the gyroscope's axis initially pointed at a distant star which acted as a reference, NASA was able to measure the precession of the gyroscopes as they orbited the Earth. This experiment was a lot more difficult than simply sending four gyroscopes into orbit. Due to the extremely small amount of frame tracking that was being measured, there had to be essentially no outside influence on the gyroscopes besides the warping of space-time that was being measured. This experiment helped reassert that Einstein's theory of general relativity is indeed correct. The effect of frame dragging is one that cannot be predicted by the Newtonian picture of gravity. Instead, it is predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, which predicts that masses will curve the space around them and that rotating masses will warp space around their rotating axis, which is the frame dragging effect. This warping in turn will affect masses that are in the area of influence of that warped space. 
The primary physical effect of this being a precession of the spin axis of an object orbiting a rotating mass. This effect was predicted by Joseph Lenz and Hans Thuring, and was measured by the Gravity Probe B experiment that was started in 2004, and the final results of which were made public in 2010. This experiment, which involved four ultra-precise gyroscopes to be pointed at a reference star and then measuring the precession of the axis, was able to measure the effect of frame tracking to within 1% of the expected value. This helps to reinforce that Einstein's theory of relativity is accurate.